Hello folks, do you have this situation at home? This is one of those peel and stick wiring channels that you stick on the wall, but invariably they will always let go. And this is the result. So today I want to show you a permanent fix for this using simple tools and about five bucks worth of hardware. And I guarantee you, this will never happen again. First, we need to know what we will be drilling into. It could be solid wood or a hollow wall. Now, if you don't have a stud finder like this one, you can just tap in a small nail and you'll be able to tell if you hit wood or just empty space. I needed room to work, so I moved the dresser out of the way. Now we're going to need to reattach our channel to the wall where it goes. I recentered it under the TV and positioned the top about one inch above the TV bottom. Then I leveled it and restuck it firmly to the wall. I opened the channel, I removed the wiring, and then I removed the TV from the wall and set it out of the way. Now we have room to work. If you hit solid wood when you checked your wall, the process is very simple. Since this is a short piece of channel, I'm just going to drill a centered hole at the top and the bottom. We won't need one in the middle. Now drive in a number 8 by 2 inch dome head screw using an extra wide washer. These are 1 8 by 1 inch fender washers and they will give us extra holding power to keep the channel flat against the wall. A smaller normal washer will hold it in place but since it's made of plastic it may deform or warp a bit on the wall. Now you can just reassemble and rehang your TV set and you're done. If you didn't find a stud, we'll have to use hollow wall anchors. Now I will use my drill and a 3 16 inch drill bit. And I'm going to drill holes top, bottom, and middle. And I'm going to drill all the way through the wall. Now we can pry the channel off the wall. And enlarge the holes with a 5 16 inch drill bit. The holes have to be larger to accommodate our hollow wall anchors. And we're using these. These are 5 8 inch pop toggle brand. And they're my favorites. Now they're rated at 80 pounds. They hold a lot of weight and they're easy to use. This is an expansion pin tool and I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Now fold the toggle in, insert it in the hole and tap it in place with the hammer. Insert the expansion pin in the hole and push. Now you'll feel the toggle ends expand and pop into place behind the drywall. There are several brands of these toggle type wall anchors and they and all the hardware in this video are available at hardware stores and building centers. These came from Home Depot. Also folks, we'd appreciate it if you would like our video. And if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Again, we're going to use the fender washers with the screws that came with the toggle books. Once the screw is inserted, we can line it up on the top anchor and get it started. Then repeat the process for the middle and the bottom anchors. This will automatically reinstall the channel in the vertical straight up and down position just like we started. Now we just take our drill or a Phillips screwdriver and just run in the screws. Snug them up good, but don't over tighten. We don't want to strip out the little plastic threads in our toggle. So now we can finish up by returning the TV to its place, insert the wire back in the cover, then snap it shut, and put our furniture back in place. Alright, remember folks, this is a permanent repair. This should never fall off again, and you should never have to redo this. So uh, that's going to do it for today folks. We're finished with this project, so be sure to tune in next time, and thanks for watching.